As many of you may already know, most of my property portfolio is based around Newcastle in the North East. And a common objection which is quite often thrown at me when I talk about investing up north is that property values don't increase up north. There's never any capital growth. But is this actually true? This is why having access to the right data and being informed properly is so important when we make investment decisions. Let me just show you this chart which shows year-on-year -year growth in various locations around the UK contrasted with year-on-year -year growth from 12 months ago. So let's have a look. This is the top 20 locations in the UK as reported this month based on the last 12 months growth, if that makes sense. So let's just have a look. Number one on the list is Rochdale with 8% growth contrasted with 4.6% growth in the year 12 months ago. Number two is Bolton, 7.9% growth. Wakefield, 7.3% growth. Mansfield, 7.2% growth. Liverpool, 6.9%. I won't read them all, I'll just leave this up so you can have a look at it. And it goes on and on and on. And if I were to keep reading down this list, the first one which isn't in the north is Hastings. And that's a bit of a blip because we then carry on with Blackburn, Nottingham. Okay, Nottingham's Midlands, but it's north of London and the southeast. Leeds, Sheffield, Stoke, York, and the list goes on and on and on. So is it true that we never get capital growth up north? Well, no, of course not. But what this data is showing us, I think, is the reality of the ripple effect. Now, the ripple effect, what's the ripple effect? Well, the ripple effect basically suggests that values increase first in London, and then when they've increased in London, values of properties then increase almost like a ripple in a pond. If you throw a stone into a pond and you see the ripples moving out from where the stone lands, also house prices sort of move up, moving away from London, and they kind of move across the country over a period of time setting out sort of like to the north and to the west and over time property values go up across the whole country until we sort of hit you know sort of like north of England there's probably a, 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 an independent ripple effect in Wales and Scotland but they may also have some overlapping from the London effect as well. Now you'll see that in this list of locations I haven't mentioned any northeast locations. There's nothing there for Hartlepool, Sunderland, Newcastle or even Middlesbrough. Why is that? Well, because the reality is that the ripple effect arrives in the northeast last, northeast being like the furthest part of the north of England. So I would expect that if I were to remake this video in perhaps six months' time, then hopefully, and I'm saying this with somebody who's a vested interest because I invest in the northeast, that hopefully in six months' time we'll see that near the top of the list we've got Middlesbrough, Hartley Pool. Sunderland and Newcastle. But the rate of growth is spreading and it hasn't quite got there yet. It's got to the northwest, it's got to Yorkshire, it just hasn't quite got to the northeast yet. So I think this is really good evidence for the ripple effect. And of course, what happens in terms of values going up also happens in terms of values going down. So at some point, when we get to the end of this particular market cycle, whenever that may be, we'll see values in London decrease. And then over a period of time, moving away from London, the decrease in values will then edge its way across the country with the ripple effect. Where will be the very last place in the country where we'll see property values declining? Well, it'll be the northeast again. And this is how the cycle works. London goes up, the rest of the country in time, values go up, London goes down, and then in time, the whole of the rest of the country goes down. So if anybody ever says to you, nothing ever happens in the north, you'll know they're wrong. And what you need to tell them is they need to get their hands on the right data and then they'll know exactly what's going on. And of course, capital values do increase up north. I hope you found this video useful and informative. And if you did, then please come over to my website, www.thepropertyteacher.co.uk, where you'll find loads more great property related resources, including free special reports to download and my best selling series of eBooks which includes the Successful Property Renovators Workshop, 63 Common Defects in Investment Property and How to Spot Them. And if you're just starting out in property or if you want to grow your portfolio, you may be particularly interested in the Successful Property Investors Strategy Workshop, in which I'll take you through exactly how I started and built my property portfolio, starting literally with none of my own money 
and how I built a por portfolio of two million pounds worth of property in just four years. And that was starting from scratch. I'll take you through everything that I did right so that you can copy me and do the same. And I'll also show you everything that I did wrong so that you can avoid the mistakes that I made and so that you can progress in property and be far more successful far more quickly than I ever was. And this is based upon my own real life experience. And it took me about four years to actually work out how to do property investing properly. But in the 200 pages in the Successful Property Investors Strategy Workshop, I'm going to show you all of that four years knowledge condensed down so that you can use it immediately. And until next time, here's to successful property investing.